Hey, my name's Steven, coming at you from Florida. Hello, y'all. This is Kevin, coming from Texas. My name's David. I'm coming from the heartland, Ohio. And welcome to the Brothers Born Podcast. And we're excited to talk to you. Yes, we are. Hey, gents. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing good. Okay. Good. And yourself? I'm doing swell. Thank you. Thank you. One more week left of school and I got summer vacation. That is awesome. A couple more days of work and I'll be coming up your, to your neck of the woods, Big D. <laughs> I bet um, you will. I have nothing <laughs> work related to, to give. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get to it, shall we? Um, we shall. What have, you, what have you all been up to this week? Kevin, why don't you go first? Um, I have been, of course, like usual, been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Excellent. Nerd. Uh, um, I, I don't have a lot to do, you know. Um, and I've been watching this guy or some. Um, it's called today I found out and it's basically this YouTube video um, series of this guy who just ex- basically explains everything. Um, he's got wow. stuff. So he explains everything pretty much like every episode he'll go on and they're usually about 15 minutes a piece. He'll go like explain what, you know, um, example will be, uh, how did white people wake up before alarm clocks were invented? And he'll have a whole episode on that. Or he'll have like an episode about, uh, the third Reich and how it's different from the first and second Reich. And it's, it's really odd. What about how do people decide which mushrooms wouldn't kill them when they started eating them? That's a good question. I don't think he's answered that one, but oh, that is okay. a great question though. I've, I've pondered or, or what seafood is acceptable to eat. I've had that. I've pondered that as well. I've always wondered like about lobster because somebody had to be the first person to eat a lobster and if you look at a lobster, it does not look like something you should ever eat. Have you, have you eaten lobster? It's pretty good. I, like, I don't like seafood, I'm, but I do like I'm lobster. Not, I'm not a fan of sh- uh, shellfish like that. It's or really what, sweet. Not shellfish, but you know, like lobster, crab, that sort of thing. For a lobster, you got to be like... <laughs> like it just seems kind of barbaric, kind of like chicken legs to you. So for our listeners who couldn't see what David was doing, he did a <laughs> cracking motion with his hands and he... Um, Pretended to eat the lobster like a barbarian. That's how you do it, isn't it? <laughs> you got to put some butter up in there, though. You got to smother that thing in butter, man. That's the way to eat lobster. Uh, I don't know. I don't do crustaceans. Wow. But hey, speaking of crustaceans, we might cover one later in our Disney princess discussion. Sebastian, he's one. He's oh, not yeah, a princess. He's, he's not a princess. Though. But he'll certainly come up. He's the animal companion. So, one of the two animals. One of them. I would say flounder is. Flounder is kind of neat. He's not even a flounder. He's like some other kind of fish. That's just his name, dude. <laughs> Speaking of flounder, my buddy Dawson, you, you know Dawson, he came on the show once. We used to do this thing in high school. We'd be like, flounder, and we'd take our hand and like smack each other's thighs. We thought it was pretty funny. I don't know. Wait, did you say thighs? <laughs> yes. Wow, that's wow. awesome, dude. I'll show you sometime. So there's that. That's the thing that he did. <laughs> I never had a friend I could do that with him. <laughs> <laughs> Fla- you have to do that first, though. Flounder, and you go like, between their two thighs go and smack back and forth. <laughs> it's stupid. I don't think I'd go around telling people that, <laughs> even though you did just say that in a very public medium. <laughs> yeah, that's not the story you probably want to share with people. I, I might cut that one out. <laughs> no, you don't have to cut that out. All right, so what about you, Steve? What have you been up to? Um, so Weezer dropped a new album this week. So I've been jamming that out. It's called Van Weezer. It was supposed to come out last year, and they actually released two of the songs last year. But because of COVID-19, because it was an association with their Hella Mega Tour, which I was supposed to go to. It's them, Green Day, and Fall Out Boy. But anyway, they postponed the release of the album until this week. Or maybe it was last week, but it was recently. And I've been jamming to that. It's re- it's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's uh, very reminiscent of some of their older stuff combined with some... um like uh 80s 
like he, Van Weezer. So he's talking about Van Halen and like he, they sample a, a Ozzy Osbourne song and it's, it's really cool. I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, there's a really cool music video for one of the songs. If you watch the cartoon, Bob's Burgers, the animators from that cartoon did the music video. So that's pretty, it's pretty worth checking out. I know you like Weezer. All three of us like Weezer. I do like Weezer. I saw Weezer in concert. So did I. With Tenacious D. That's awesome. That would have been a great show. I saw them with, it was. The, Pixie, with the Pixies. That was pretty cool, too. All right. Well, I, not much has happened with me, but I do have a story that Stephen suggested I share. Oh, yes. I'm very excited about this. This is from the wonderful community of um, South Euclid, Ohio. <laughs> I love so it it's already. Just, it's, just a, it's just a quick story. Here it goes. South Euclid, Ohio. Here's a story you don't see every day. The South Euclid Police Department posted a story to Facebook. First of all, they posted to Facebook. The Facebook site about a fight that took place at a potato chip aisle in Walmart. That's how every good story starts. At the potato chip aisle in Walmart. Well, most good stories start with Florida man, but yeah. (laughs) This is South Euclid, but which is almost as good. When officers arrived, they learned that one of the women had a protection order out against the other, stemming from an incident from when the two resided in the same duplex in University Heights. Apparently, when the two made eye contact with an one another at Walmart, the protected party was confronted by the other woman who threatened to beat her blank. I'm assuming that starts with an A, ends with a couple S's, as well as her seven-year-old daughter. The woman pulled down her COVID-19 mask. We still have to wear those in Ohio (laughs) and attempted to spit on her when she missed. And she entered the other woman's shopping cart and struck her in the face with a 10 pound bag of prepackaged meat. No, wait, you got 10 pound log. (laughs) <laughs> pre-packaged 10 pound meat. log sorry yeah yeah it's log <laughs> that makes or breaks the story 10 pound log of prepackaged meat officers arrested the 25 year old cleveland woman and charged her with assault and violating a temporary protection order when arrested the five-year-old child was turned over to another family member probably a good thing and criminal history check revealed that a history of violent behavior and multiple warrants are out for her arrest here's the best part South Euclid police saved the best line in their Facebook report for the very end. It is unknown as to what initially led to the beef between the two women. Oh man. <laughs> that, uh, so, that's funny. That, so that cop, whoever came, whichever one, I bet they had this, this altercation at Walmart and uh, they're like, dude, I know we got, we got to think of the greatest like beef pun we could think of. Oh, here we go. And then they, uh, they came up with the name of the story, but I think it's interesting that somewhere along the line, these two women were friends. They lived together in University Heights, University Heights. Apartment complex, yeah. So what do you think happened? Mm. So it's where, where, what kind of friendship gets to the point where you're willing to beat them with a beef log? <laughs> like, well, something critical must have occurred. Like, Dude, I'll, I'll beat people. I'll beat somebody with a beef log. I don't care if I'm... <laughs> I'll grab anything, <laughs> sausage, beef, <laughs> cheese, whatever, whatever's nearby. I'm going to, I'm beating you with it. <laughs> But anyways, it, it, my wife found that story. I thought it was, it was pretty good. I well, used to teach in Euclid. I never taught in South Euclid, but uh, I used to teach out that way. So, so you make Florida man jokes on me all the time, but that's pretty up there. So, <laughs> it is. Well, we all know Ohio, what Ohio is like too. We've all been there. <laughs> yep. So only I am still here, but that's true. I'm just saying, in Texas, people don't beat each other with meat. What if? You know, like in Texas, a lot of people have guns. Whatever. I don't Not want to dis- think. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. What if, like, instead of carrying guns, people were just carrying around beef logs? <laughs> you get like, a- oh, I could go so many directions. Well, like, like a like a western, but in order to showdown or whatever. But instead of like <laughs> guns, it's beef logs. So, like, you have to get like a permit. A conceal and carry <laughs> you might start to stink after a while though man you have to you always have to replace the beef before it goes bad speaking of stinking meat um i, I the other day i had to cook dinner a crock pot type deal and uh, i put some raw chicken in the crock pot put some cumin on there a bunch of other great seasonings and my crock pot you're supposed to hit like the start button i forgot to do that and i was like walking through the day and I was like, man, why doesn't the house smell like delicious food cooking? And I looked 
it was like four hours have gone by and I never hit the start button. So this raw chicken's just sitting in the crock pot. So I threw it away and I'm really, and then I forgot that I emptied the vacuum cleaner into my trash can. So this raw chicken fell to the trash can and dust flew up everywhere. It was a mess. It was like, three stooges. <laughs> sounds like a party, a three stooges episode or something. <laughs> Dusty raw meat. Well, your first mistake was you tried to use a crock pot. Hey dude, I love crock pots. We crock pot that. They're cool, but I'm not, t- I guess t- crock pots aren't that hard to use actually. What but. do you guys think about air fryers? I want to get oh, one. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Dude. In my kitchen. You can't compare. It doesn't compare to an oil fryer, though. Well, sure, but it's healthier. It's a healthier alternative. I don't care. I want If I want my fry food to clog my arteries. Dude, you could put anything in an air fryer, man. And just fry it up. Whatever you want. <laughs> it tastes good when you take it out. I feel like with fried food... um, don't you aren't you disappointed when you eat fried food and it isn't good like if i'm gonna like spend minutes of my life eating this horrible thing it's gotta at least be good so when you eat like a bad piece of fried food it's like as you feel so defeated at least i do i don't know that's true i don't really eat a lot of fried food to be honest oh listen to you Mm -hmm. i love fried food i don't really eat a lot of fried food i no, i really don't i mean certain things i do but i don't know kevin's turning all like conceited and better than us in this episode you know, i was always i was always better than you guys in this episode kevin's just going to progressively get more healthy in a he, couple must episodes. Dis- he must have discussed politics now and scientific you know findings so what do you guys view it on a keto diet diet <laughs> um i don't do the keto if, diet if, you, if you do it I'm correctly good. i think it works but people just don't do it the right way they like oh, i'll just go on i'm doing keto and then like they like their body doesn't get in ketosis and they're like, I'll just take a quick cheat day or something. And it doesn't work. You have to do it. You have to be very strict on it. From what yeah. I understand, I never tried it, not even interested in it, but I never tried it either. No, I, I thought we, I, we were supposed to talk about princes today, weren't we? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so hey, sometimes oh well. <laughs> beef logs distract you. We still have time. We still have time. So as far as Disney princesses, there's lots of, angles to discuss here is there a specific um topic y'all want to discuss i know we had a couple different ideas i thought we were going to compare them to something we all can relate to the avengers yes star wars or something i like that that idea so you think about the avengers you got some that are super ultra powerful you got some that don't have any powers i think disney princesses could make a similar type of team yeah, yeah, like a superhero team, a Disney Prince yeah. superhero team. So we got established right away. Are we talking about just like official Disney princes or like any princess that Disney has that's a princess, whether they've gone through their coronation or not? And I bring this up because Vanellope, I think, is a princess and I think she would be a good addition to the team. But if we're not including her, then that's going to be a little different. I yeah. think we should go with, if you've seen the scene in Wreck-It Ralph 2, all of those ones, plus ones that have come out since then. Agreed. Ones that have come out since then. That new one who I can't pronounce, Raya? Yeah, it's just Raya. I can't, I really, I can't really add much to her because I don't know much about yeah, her. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. You can add her, and then since Vanellope's in there, you can add Vanellope. I think that would be all right, that yeah. crew right there. Yeah, I think that's a good That's a good pot of unless you want to add. Unless you want to add Maid Marion, like Avengers have a rocket raccoon, we could add Maid Marion as our animal. Uh, she doesn't really have any powers or anything, though. She just kind of dances around. She can play badminton. That's not Remember? really a power. Oh, I guess you're right. Okay, <laughs> leave, her, leave her out then. So, with that said, I think, the first, of course, since I brought up already, one of the first people I want to bring into the superhero team princesses is uh, Vanellope because she can teleport. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is a very good power. In fact, I don't think any of the Avengers really have that. No, I mean, X, there's X Men that do. There's... But in the MCU, as it currently stands, if you're going by the movie universe, that does not exist in any powers yet. Well, Ant Man sort of can, but. That's true. That's true. But it's different, though. It's different. It's between different times, not from one place to the other, like Beam Me Up Scotty style. None of that. Yeah. So, so we're in the Greens yeah. Vanellope should be on this per- a hypothetical superhero team. Oh, they're all going to be on it. It's just... I don't think you can necessarily put all of them on it. There's certain ones like like Belle, I don't think really has any sort of quality or ability that would... She's um, smart. Like she, she's she very smart. smart. I mean, I she, guess, but that's not really an Avenger thing. Well, Iron Man is smart. Yeah, but Granted, he also he has, has a suit. suit. Right. 
X but X Men have Beast. I know he's pretty strong too, but but she that's Bell what I'm saying. Is, like Bell is with the Beast. There so. aren't really like super well known superheroes that are just there because they are smart. Bell's sidekick is the Beast. Would that? No, nah, I don't think that counts. Mm, whatever, fine. See, I, I don't know. I think we could include Bell based on her intelligence. I mean, granted, sure, the Avengers all have most of them have powers and whatnot, but they are definitely part of Shield. There's lots of researchers and things. She might not be a heavy hitter, but she'd definitely be part of the team in the background, possibly. Like, look at um, like Sharon Carter or Peggy Carter or something. They then even Coulson, you know. Of course, he had yeah. some skills with a weapon too. Well, but- then, well then, by, by that argument, like, how would you put Sleeping Beauty? Because all she does is sleep. Sleeping Beauty, she plays a very important role. Actually, she plays the character they're all trying to protect. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you, you need- <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> They need somebody to protect, all right? What about this? Like, she's dreaming. I'm sure she could do things with her I, dreams. That I don't think it works that way. <laughs> you're, you're making oh, stuff up, on, man. man. We had a basis on, like, on their actual abilities. So, you know, like, Vanellope can teleport. Or, like, um, Moana has a weird ability to talk to the ocean. Well, she, like, she can manipulate the water. It's not necessarily that she can talk to it. But so that's a does pretty she really manipulate tool. the water? Or does the water just protect her? Either way, it's pretty pretty solid i mean because you got whether... two princesses that i mean before she went through her transformation ariel could be like the princess's version yeah of no she's because obviously she, she, she talks is. to the fish moana doesn't like talk to the sea creatures she communicates with the water itself okay and right. and she's so got some like mad kung fu skills with that boat or i think of superheroes i i always think boat or <laughs> as a weapon hey man that's i guess that's definitely important <laughs> Hey, she um, beat down a, a demigod with it. So, hey, of course, it was when he didn't have his powers, but still. So, we'll add her sticking with the water. We got, so we got Vanellope who can teleport. Um, teleport. We got what's Moana can talk to the water and has skilled in hand to hand combat. We also have sticking in the water. We have Ariel. She can talk to the fish and the other sea, you know. Her, the king and the other, and she can get them to do her bidding. My question and, with Ariel is, know, um, does she stay a mermaid in this whole situation or can she go back and forth between the two? Even if she goes to human form, she still talks to... Well, no, I'm, say, I'm saying no, because if she can go back and forth between the two, that would add like a new element to it. You know, like... I think I think she should be able to All right, go back I'm down. Yeah, I think so too. I but see, so you're adding um, liberties with it and you wouldn't let Stephen... All right, all right fine. Is she a human or mermaid in this situation then? <laughs> I think we should keep her a mermaid. I'll let, her like, go to, I'll let her go back and forth. She can share also, both worlds. Also, Ariel's really important because she has a lot of resources as well. Look at the stuff. Isn't it neat? She has a lot of, <laughs> she has a big collection. I um, would think it's complete. Yeah, but well, yes, what I'm complete saying, because if, if you don't allow her to become a mermaid again, she can't go and get said stuff because she would drown. Right. All right, we'll say she's both then. Okay. Yeah. She so can, we got three. Three. All right, you, you mentioned. Cinderella, Cinderella. Another one that can speak to the animals and get the animals to do stuff for her, like make a dress. I'm sure she could also get them to like infiltrate enemy headquarters or something. Wait, are you talking Cinderella or Snow White? Yeah. They, I guess Cinderella. Anyway. Cinderella. Well, both of them really, but we can't all have the same power. Well, are we include? I say Cinderella. Snow White over Cinderella because Cinderella's got that fairy godmother though, dude. Yeah, but she, she all, does, all the she fairy godmother extra. does is give her a dress. That's all she does in them show. It doesn't mean she can't do more. All right, we'll leave Cinderella out. We'll put Snow White in. I can compromise. And plus, Snow, plus Snow White has an army of, of dwarves. That's well, true. Cinderella has an army of mice. But I guess there's only like four of them, not an army. Okay. And all right, Snow White. Cinderella in. has a glass slipper. She could use that as a shiv or a shank or something. <laughs> I'm picturing Cinderella shanking people. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, I guess, I guess she can do them both. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... I got one. Um, Tiana, shape shifting, right? Couldn't she? She turns into a. I don't frog. think she does it at will, though. Oh. oh okay. But I was thinking that but, that could be a possibility. Could she though? All right. Well, let's maybe we. Okay, we'll leave her. And on she, the I picture her. She's like a, also another brains of the operation situation. She's very economical, and very intelligent, and knows how to run a business. But she could easily be a, like a leader. What about um? Oh, Rapunzel. Maybe she doesn't have superpowers, but she whips that hair around like nobody's business. Yeah, no, dude, for sure. Rapunzel's got magic hair. She can like use it to heal people. Oh, yeah. 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 Plus, she's got that frying pan. She can. Yeah, no, I'm I'm down with Rapunzel being in there. Um, Also, Merida. Okay. Because uh, she's like she's like the Hawkeye. Like 
Yeah, archery for skills. Sure. Absolutely. Mulan, Mulan um, martial artist. Mm-hmm. And sim- similar vein, I think it's okay to have two of these. Raya, I know you haven't seen that movie, but she's a martial artist as well. And she uh, also um, has a dragon companion. She has access to dragons. Well, so does Moana, actually. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> not Moana. <laughs> Less that's, Mul- that's, that's Mulan. That's Mulan. That's Mulan. You know what I mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys are better. So I think Raya and Mulan, they both have like dragon companions yes. that could be part assistant to the team. And they're both warriors for sure. And, and then, uh, okay. The other two I'm thinking of, Elsa definitely would have to She's not really a princess though. Because Well, no, Disney, Disney does well, say that she's a princess. She is. She is at first before yeah. her parents that's die. That's true. Right? She does have ice powers. But, but you're right. She's. I know she's a queen, not a princess, but she's got, and her sister kind of needs to be there too, just because Elsa does it. Yeah. And Anna has, she's pretty smart. She's resourceful. And Elsa's better when Anna is there. Elsa, but Elsa's ice powers are for sure. I mean, as much as I'm not the biggest Frozen fan, like I can't deny that yeah. those ice powers. Sure no, yeah, for sure. Handy. Elsa could be like, there. I mean, I don't <laughs> like Elsa, but Elsa definitely needs to be in there. I don't think her. I don't think Anna needs to be part of the team, but she definitely would be like an influence on them. And cons- a relevant a consultant, character. not even necessarily a consultant, <laughs> okay. but you know, you have gotcha. like Hawkeye, for example. He's got his family. Like you know, like a lot of the Avengers have family members or friends or whatever. They aren't part of the team at all, but still. Important. And you got Pepper yeah. Potts, who until the end wasn't a superhero, yeah. right? Yeah. So okay, we got that's good. Are there, are we missing any? Let me think. Um, my daughter has every single doll, so I'm trying to think of there's, through her dolls. There's, there's Jasmine. Jasmine doesn't no, really have she any does. powers. She, she does have a flying carpet. Yeah, but that's actually Aladdin's cool. flying carpet. Actually, it's just a flying carpet. Well, it doesn't really belong to her. I don't think you can include her. No, we, yeah, no unf- it, it is unfortunate because you need a little more uh, you know, diversity in our team here. We got some yes. diversity, though. I mean, we've got different species of girls. We've species? Got... I think they're all human. <laughs> not Ariel's not. Oh human yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Human, but... <laughs> True. She she bridges that gap between uh, humanity and the animals. Um, we, am I forgetting any of? There has to be another. I'm sure, one. I'm sure we're forgetting. Anybody something. else wonder um, on a completely unrelated note, but semi-related note, because was on my Ariel. Anybody else wonder how mermaids actually reproduce? Like, do they give live births or do they lay eggs? And if they lay eggs, why do they have mammary glands? Do they? It's like a platypus, <laughs> dude. They're, they're, why do they? Why do they lay eggs? And platypuses don't have mammary. Well, I guess they have mammary glands, but platypus, um, they, they sweat milk. That's how they feed their young. Sweat yeah, that's sweat a, milk. <laughs> that's a band name right there. If I ever heard one, <laughs> imagine if you sweat every time you went running, you sweat milk. That'd be weird. Would you rather sweat milk or sweat Kool Aid? Dude, I've been trying to do a Would You Rather episode for a while, man. <laughs> Save that for that one. Okay. But probably Kool-Aid would be sticky. Milk would be, they'd both be pretty sticky. <laughs> they'd both be pretty funky, for sure. I think milk would be heavier to sweat because it's a thicker substance. So I would say Kool-Aid. <laughs> sweat <But> milk. <laughs> anyways, so we got, let's let's just go. We, we talked about the three early ones. Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Snow White. Um, Ariel, Belle, we talked about. Oh, what about um, Nala? She could be the animal, like Rocket Raccoon. She doesn't really have yeah, skills. She doesn't have any skills at all. She just kind of. But she's a hunter. I mean, yeah, I guess. But she's not a super. There's no superpower. It's just a regular lion. She can talk. Well, yeah, but in but Disney, maybe we. Maybe like she most can. animals can. Maybe she's just communicating. Okay. How about well. okay? So Poca- we didn't talk about Pocahontas. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, she's right. like kind of one with nature and stuff. So she would be like a good tracker and things. Uh, oh yeah, she, she can listen to the colors. She can listen to something that you see. <laughs> That's pretty. And cool. she has to be good at linguistics too, because I mean, she automatically knows how to speak English as soon as <laughs> John true. Smith gets there. <laughs> <clears throat> so That's good to have. And she's probably has some bow skills. Not as good as Merida, but she's probably got some. You think? So we we have um. This one, I just now thought, I'm looking at Disney Princess, see who we missed. And this one's up in the air. We, if you listen to our last episode about Disney Princesses, we wouldn't, didn't really uh, have a clear-cut answer on this one. But Giselle from Enchanted, she has the ability to change between real life and cartoon. That's a pretty, pretty yeah, but cool how is that power, useful in terms of saving the universe? <laughs> 
Do you really think these <laughs> princesses are trying to save the universe? We're just... <laughs> I'm just saying, like a superhero I team has to have true. something has to have an enemy. That's something that, right. that suggests that she can change the matter of her body, of her actual being, though. So if she can manipulate the matter of herself. I, I think you're stretching it. Maybe she could like squeeze into tight know, places. Man. <laughs> or <laughs> I think you're Something stretching like it. That. Honestly, I think for me, the ones that make sense um would would be like Ariel, Merida, um, Elsa, Moana, Rapunzel, mm-hmm. Mulan. And the twins the the two that speak to animals, Snow White, Cinderella. Yeah, well, I would, we'll one of one of them. White. I would I would keep Snow White because I like her better in Cinderella. She also has dwarf yeah. friends, so that's always good. That's that's kind of how. Oh, and Vanellope. Okay, this one, it's not really Disney princess, but I think it. So why are we there. bringing it up? Well, hear me out here, because this is a this particular person is a big part of Disney. You see her everywhere, and I think she might be able to fill the boy, the role of like an Ant Man, Tinkerbell. Oh yeah, I'm but she doesn't get that. big though. She stays the same size. But that doesn't. She can still. Bippity really, boppity boo, magic dust, dude. And, like, and, she, and, she, and she can and she can she use her pixie dust. dust to make the other princesses fly. Yeah, and if she's and if she, even if she's little the whole time and doesn't get big, she could still do a lot. Of All right, awesome I'm down. Stuff I, I, I will put Tinkerbell. I get that. I can get that yeah, for sure. She doesn't. Uh, does she talk? I don't know. If Tinkerbell no, she talks. doesn't. Well, Peter Pan gets close to her and she whispers in That's his right. ears. Sometimes, That's right. That's right. That movie is one of the most racist Disney movies, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if you want to put that. I mean, the most point, racist Disney but that song about the Native the most racist movie, Disney movie is Songs of the South. You can't even find it. You know? Well, I was talking about cartoon oh, yeah. wise, but yeah, Song of the South. Anyways, yeah. so we got a pretty good lineup here. That's a good squad. Good squad. Um, I think they could contend with the Avengers. Honestly, like it might not be. Now let's not go too far here. Let's not go too far. Maybe they could contend with the Justice League. Okay, there you go. They. Uh, I, I've been doing a lot of. I've been reading a lot of. Marvel comic books, and there's lots of different names. You got the Avengers, you got the Defenders, you got the Thunderbolts, you got the East Coast Avengers, West Coast Avengers. I oh, think it's like gangster rap <laughs> stuff right there. We, we found this uh, new team in the in the Disney in the Disney universe here. Oh yeah, because because uh, Disney owns be, Marvel now. Yeah, that could be utilized. We should try sure. to get a hold of the Disney people and get this in production, man. Yeah, dude, uh, just a big showdown. That'd be so sweet. It could go against various uh, Disney villains like Ursula. And... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good question. So, you know, Thanos is the big bad for like the first phase of the Avengers. Who's the big bad in the Disney I would argue princess? Maleficent, but they kind of, that's because they sort of did this already. Um, D- Disney has a series of movies out called the... Um, I can't even remember what the name of it is now, but it's basically like a show about like Dis- like Disney heroes have children and the children go to like this high school or whatever. And then... Villains also have children, and all the villains are like restricted to this island. But the heroes or whatever invite some of the children from the villains to come and um, go to high school with them. It, it's a weird thing. Anyways, the uh, head honcho of the villains in that particular series is um, Maleficent. I, I think she is a she is a good big bad. So that that would make. Aurora a lot more critical probably actually if she was like the main villain they're trying to take down because she's like that's her princess so mm-hmm. I, I could see that I could see that she's a big one yeah I, yeah she probably would be the mastermind bef- behind it all honestly I think Snow White's evil queen would be another good one like some of the, if we're going big bad I think some of the more older old school villains would probably be more appropriate but because they're more menacing like in in Frozen there's not really a villain villain you know what i mean or, or moana there's not really a villain in moana i guess it, or uh, like in in rapunzel i guess there's a rapunzel yeah there's just not. has those couple of thugs right and then yeah. her mom yeah her, that's true her, her mom. mom but like I, th- I think some of like maleficent those older villains are a little more diabolical than i, uh, I agree although mr so. um it just went away from me the guy from princess and the frog is pretty uh diabolical oh, he, too. he'd be yeah, a sweet awesome. villain though like I don't think but he's I don't the think big he'd bad. Be the leader, but... no. Same with Ursula. She she'd be good. She can get huge. She, but I don't think she'd be the main one either. But she'd be a good one to have on their team. I mean, I, that's a whole other dynamic to this. I didn't even consider it is. the villains. But so let's just so what the the final squad we have then is Merida, 
Mulan, Moana, Pocahontas, Elsa, Penelope, Penelope, Tinkerbell, Rapun Rapunzel, Tinkerbell, Ariel. and Ariel and Snow White. So that's that's ten, I think. That's pretty yeah. good. All right. It's a good Raya. You got Raya in there too. She's. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know much about her yet because I haven't seen the movie. She'd be a good one. Cool man. Yeah, let's. We could put them up against any group, but definitely they'd have more success against the Justice League than the Avengers. I must, I think. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> and if uh, if Kevin had his way, Princess Leia. Could uh, be no, in there I'm too, not even so. going to do that. <laughs> she would add to the team, though, for real. She like, would, Princess Leia is great. awesome. Because she 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 could be like the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're in it, but they're not really in it. I don't yeah. know. They're like a separate group, maybe. I don't know. If it's the space thing too, so. Yep, that's why I thought of it. All right, dudes. Well, that was a good discussion. I'm excited to, I'm excited to see this in development. I'll contact Disney this afternoon, and uh, sounds good. And we could probably incorporate them hitting each other with ten pound logs of beef too. Yes, probably. <laughs> that definitely has to be in there. That's what Bell could do. French bread, ten pound thing, French bread. <laughs> I, I feel like if and I was just gonna say, if I feel like any princess hit somebody for a log of beef, it'd be Bell. There you go. She or Tiana because she's got access to a lot of food, right? That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Well, cool dudes. I got to get out of here though. Got to go teach a lesson. Right. See you later, Dave. Yeah. Bye bye. See you until next time. Hey, thanks for listening to this episode of the Brothers Born Podcast. David, Kevin, and I had a great time talking about Disney princesses and what kind of superhero team would they make? What are your thoughts? Do you think they could handle the Justice League? Or the courage of the Avengers? We'd love to hear what you think about that. Feel free to message us at facebook.com slash brothersbornpodcast or email us at brothersbornpodcast at gmail.com and we'd love to hear from you. And if you're feeling generous, share this show with a friend or give us a positive review on your podcatcher. We'd love that very much. We'd be so grateful. Anyway, not any other big updates right now, so we'll just catch you next time on the Brothers Born Podcast. Podcast.